Thank you very much, Jean. Jean Burgess, past president of the Community Association. There are two gentlemen from the Legion I also wanted to recognize. We have Jim Wiles from the Ontario branch of the Royal Canadian Legion. Jim, are you here with us? Yeah. He just had to leave. He was the man that uh, led the party through. And David Lewis, president of the Westboro branch, Canadian Royal Canadian Legion. Is David with us, Mr. Lewis? He's, all right, thank you. Well, I wanted to recognize both of those guys. <laughs> On behalf of the 73,000 students of the school board, our 7,000 employees, our 150 schools, and our 11 trustees. I would like to welcome you again to W.E. Gowling Public School. Thank you all for joining us today. Most importantly, thank you to our veterans for your lifetime contributions to our nation, the Commonwealth, our city, and our local community. You are always welcome in our public schools, not just on Remembrance Day, but every day. Every day needs to be Remembrance Day, where we remember and honor your contributions that have led to our free, our healthy, and our democratic society, which is the envy of the world. Let us also remember those men and women who did not return home or who have since passed. We must always remember their sacrifice as well. I wanted to give you just a very brief history of our great school, W.E. Gowling, and I thank Principal Vigby for providing this to me. W.E. Gowling Public School was named after Wesley Ernestling, a dedicated trustee of the Ottawa Board of Education who, get this, served from 1909 to 1955. I will not serve that long, I promise. <laughs> 47 years. First elected in 1909, Mr. Gowling returned to office by either acclamation or commanding majorities for those 47 years. He never lost an election. An amazing record in this city and province. W. E. Galling School was originally built in 1946. It went through an expansion three years later in 1949, and again an addition in 1952. Galling was and is the hub of this very vibrant community which originally served returning veterans and their families following the Second World War. We have been a K to eight school, kindergarten to grade eight. We are now a kindergarten to grade six school, serving an English program, offering an English program with a large child care center. And as Ms. Burgess indicated, this is a very diverse school with a very large Middle East, African, and Asian population. I've always believed that this school is an excellent example of how the face of Canada has changed and changed for the very good. So again, welcome to our school. Finally, I'd like to welcome Mr. Michael Kostiak to the podium. Again, uh, he is the president of the local community association. He will thank the various organizations who have collaborated to make this day very special. I'll then, uh, following his remarks, uh, let you know what will be made available in the adjoining room for you after the ceremony. But it should not go uh, unnoticed or unsaid that Michael has been instrumental in making today happen, uh, as well as uh, his fellow directors of the Community Association. Michael has led the charge, has provided countless of hours over the many months to make this day happen. If you could only imagine the logistics that one has to go through to make this very special, I want us to thank Michael for his uh, endless time and efforts to make today possible. Please thank you, Michael, as he comes up to the mic. Okay, I'll make this brief because I know uh, you like to see all the displays here. An, an event like this obviously takes a lot of cooperation with a lot of different organizations and I'm going to try and list them all and I hope I don't miss anybody, but here we go. Royal Canadian Legion, Westboro Branch 480. Ottawa Carleton, okay, you want to applaud, go ahead. <laughs> Ottawa Carleton District School Board, especially Ronnie Brockington and Principal Brian Begby, of course. Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, ab and right here as well. Uh, Department of Veteran Affairs, MP Paul Dewar, MPs Yasser Nakfi and Jim Watson. The work worth doing in the Now House project, Vintage Wings of Canada, which supplied the two vintage aircraft that flew over, they were only going to supply one, they gave us a, an extra one. Not bad. So. 
Um, Canada's capital A's, which provided the vintage cars, City of Ottawa. Also a special thanks to the City of Ottawa archives personnel who helped us find so much history about Carlington. Uh, the Ottawa Police and Councillor McRae's office. The Canadian War Museum, again W.E. Gowling School. The local media, which ran stories and interviews about our events, such as uh, uh, News West, CFRA, CBC, and the Ottawa Citizen. Members of the Carlington Community Association who took part in the planning and operation of the event. And all of you who turned out today, wish you all a very big thank you. So let's give yourself a good night. Thank you. Before we conclude, I just wanted to ask the veterans and their families in the audience, how many of you live in the local community, the local Carlington community? Could you just raise your hand? So here are all the members of our community who have served, and I just wanted to thank you again. But thank you all, all the veterans, for being here today. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to let you know at this time, I believe in the small gym just here, it is the small gym, yes, there will be refreshments uh, and social time with the veterans, should you wish. Please take your time and look at all the display tables uh, that you can go through, old uh, copies of the community paper, the Carlington Summit, and uh, just take your time, there's no rush to leave. Uh, there will be a movie in the small gym as well, and uh, please take your time to speak to the veterans. Thank you all for coming there, for coming today. This has been the Carlington uh, Remembrance and Renewal Ceremony. There will be a shuttle offered to take veterans back to where the parade started. So if you prefer to take the shuttle rather than walk, that, will, that is available for you as well. Okay. And in about 10 minutes, the uh, CMHC presentation will be about here. Uh, we'll be here if you're interested around 2.30. So thank you again for coming once and all. This concludes our ceremony. And again, please feel free to stay for the rest of the afternoon. Thank you very much. After a short break, Vivian Chi of Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation made an audio-visual presentation on the Equilibrium Sustainable Housing Demonstration Initiative. The focus of this presentation was on the Now House, which is the retrofitting of a 60-year-old post-World War II home in an established neighborhood of similar houses in Toronto, as we have in Carlington. Upgrading of veterans homes as well as other types of homes built after World War II has been upgraded to increase energy efficiency, improving indoor air quality, producing energy through renewable sources, and recovering energy that would otherwise be lost from wastewater and exhaust air. These upgrades require only minimal new resources and reduce the impact of the house on the environment. Based on this equilibrium program, we're hoping that many owners of veterans' homes in Carlington will upgrade their homes to the standards as outlined in the program. More information can be found at workworthdoing.com and nowhouseproject.com. This is the end of the video of Carlington's Remembrance and Renewal Celebration, May 24, 2009. Here are a few scenes of the event.